As the day went on, they slowly went inside where they laid Molly down on the couch. She slept with her diaper in clear view and they both looked at her with admiration for being such a big girl. As she slept she wet her diaper making it soggy and wet. Melissa and her mother had a coffee that afternoon and didn't realize her wet diaper for another 40 minutes. When they realized, Abigail volunteered to change her diaper. She scooped Molly up, who woke up as they walked into the bedroom, along the side of the wall there was a large pile of her diapers, and the Pampers Cruisers box right next to it. Melissa had brought the whole box of 256 diapers. Abigail couldn't wait to change Molly's diapers for the three or four days that they would be there. She laid Molly down on the bed and slowly undid the tape saying in a motherly tone did baby have an accident, I think she did, with a babyish giggle coming back from Molly she proceeded to wiping her bottom and diaper area. She soon was powdering her and rubbing it into Molly's skin as she pulled the diaper back over Molly's front. She patted her on the bottom and said that's a good baby and sent her off to play. The next day both women decided to have some fun with Molly in diapers, they decided to buy a changing table, more toys, including rattles and even the pacifiers. As they left the store that day, Melissa went back to get some formula milk which she thought she might add some milk of magnesia to let Molly really use her diapers. She came back to the checkout to pay, and they both left. Molly was still at home. She was now wearing a diaper with a puppy on the front, which made her feel really babyish. When grandma and her mother got home, they built the changing table and let Molly suck on the pacifier, which was captured in many pictures. Melissa made Molly a bottle of milk and added some of the M of M which she thought would be cute. As she went outside, she scooped up Molly and gave her the bottle to drink as she made her way to the deck chairs. She sat down and put Molly in her arms as she gently cooed to her and watched as she suckled on the nipple of the bottle. The scene seemed right out of a Pampers commercial, as the beautiful mother fed her baby, who was wearing puffy, bright diapers. As Molly was still awake, Melissa looked down at her and they both made eye contact from mother to baby. After half an hour, Molly began to feel her stomach turn and the general need to poo. She whispered to her mommy that she needed the potty which her mommy just responded to by cooing even louder and saying now, now which set her back to rest. She tried to hold it in but it simply was too much. After two minutes of squirming, she let out a small fart which told Melissa that she was about to go poo-poo in the diaper. Melissa smiled to herself as she felt the mush come spewing out into the diaper spreading everywhere around her arm, as it filled the diaper. She looked at Molly who now looked up in despair, which was met by Melissa's motherly cooing. They stayed there for 15 minutes with Molly in a poopy diaper, as it filled the air. Melissa, after a while began to get up and she held Molly over her to examine her mess. She looked right under the diaper where the odour was coming from and there was a large lump at the very bottom of her diaper like a ball. She spoke to her like a baby and said looks like mommy's milk made baby do a poopy. Molly just giggled as she brought Melissa over to play as she changed her diaper on the changing table. She laid her down and began to undo the tapes when Melissa pooped again with the diaper open. Molly said oh, oh, mommy, I did another poopy. Looks and smells like you did, sweetie. She gave Molly her ABC book as she changed the diaper with what seemed like 50 wipes. That week went by quickly and the diapers did too, with plenty of poopy diapers from Molly.